There, move not. Allow me to study you for a moment. Ah, fear, but mixed with defiance. Ah, oh, the sweet scent of adventurers on the move. Though the sands of this place have worn and worried your flesh, you are not native to Harakir, nor am I. Does that surprise you? <laughs> Who is Raktur? What is Wemmick? Is this your first encounter with one of us? If so, how sad you have not joined us in battle. Pride, clan, and nation, the Wemmick stand strong. Long ago, I roamed far from my pride to seek my prey in the high mountains. Then the mists came. The land warped and turned about me, becoming somewhere else beneath my feet. The where is here. Here is Haraki. Without help from the villagers. In Muhar, the frightened huddled in whatever shadows they might find. They wanted not my company. I wanted not theirs. Villagers, bah! They do not even make worthy prey. How have I survived? By cunning and skill. But you know this, for they are your tools as well. Your scent separates you from the villagers as wolves stand apart from sheep. Mistake not wounds for weakness. Each scar I have earned, symbols of courage worn into my flesh. Of these, the most recent came in a battle with desert trolls. I confess, the beasts near to overwhelm me. I would not have escaped without the help of one of their own number. Explain I cannot, but one of the trolls attacked his own fellows. As my knees faltered and blood ran fresh along my face, he set up Rest! Never! My wounds shall heal all the better for a day's adventure. Still, I understand your concern. Should you think the better of your decision, I can be found. This remains my territory, and no desert troll shall drive me from it. is complete. The spheres of the heavens are aligned now. The journey set, your journey. Mine is over. Go on alone now. An old woman would but slow you down. It will be difficult enough for you to face what must be faced without protecting me as well. My simple home awaits my return. Flesh 
awakens me reminds me how long it has been since I became guardian of the stone prophet. It has been my charge to await a time when mortals would approach these souls and attempt to understand them. In obedience to that mission, I speak. After that, I shall forever fade away. Mortal arrogance! With what ease do you expect the fates to prepare your path? It shall not be. For my work is my work, and the knowledge you seek is not mine to give. The writings of the Prophet reach back, far, far back, into a dawn we cannot know. Gentle rains have worn mountains down, and streams have turned to seas since the days of the prophecy. And age and an age and an age has passed. Year Never again shall my voice be heard within these ancient halls. 